What's up guys, Ben with Tactical Nutrition and today I want to talk about artificial sweeteners. So not to be confused with the last video, which was artificial flavorings, but combining these two, we start to get a feel for the Franken foods that a lot of people consume. First thing, my plug, Tactical Nutrition Fit on Instagram. That's where you can uh, contact me about coaching or you can visit my website but um nutrition coaching as well if you like the video please subscribe like comment leave a comment it's just really hard to organically grow these channels on youtube these days so it really does help even if you don't like the video or you have some kind of suggestion anyway i want to talk about artificial sweeteners so not a lot of people i think really understand how artificial sweeteners work so there's different types of, this will be a short video too, because there's really not that much to go into, but this will give you an idea of why drinking diet soda um, is not a good idea in terms of losing weight, even though it doesn't have calories. So I'm not a huge fan of the calories in versus calories out um, paradigm in general. I don't think all calories are created equally. So if you're under your calorie goal, but you're drinking a bunch of soda, let's say with sugar in it, um, that's not the same thing as eating clean by a long shot. So there's that. But so there's things like stevia, right? That's a very popular artificial sweetener. Now, the argument could be made that artificial sweeteners are better than sugar because they don't, you know, cause such a caloric intake. But here's the thing. Artificial sweeteners are essentially carbohydrates. They're still carbohydrates. Xylitol is another one. They're, they're, they're still carbohydrates. They're just that our bodies are not able, do not have the enzymes to metabolize them. This means they go through your body without being broken down and then they're expelled. But they can gunk up the works on the way through. But, and this is the key I want people to understand, in terms of hormonally, your body still responds to artificial sweeteners as if you've consumed sugar. So normally, as soon as your body senses sweet, starting in the mouth, starting with your saliva, as soon as there's a sweetness, that's usually sugar, your body knows what sugar is. Um, what's going to happen is like, that's going to start the metabolic process already. It knows that sugar is incoming. And so what it's going to do is it's going to increase insulin, which will cause the sugar, blood sugar to drop as the um, as the blood sugar is stored in the cells in various ways. Basically, it's like it's clearing the way for what it knows is coming next because if it knows there's more sugar on the way, it drops the blood sugar levels so that they don't go too high. That's what your body's goal is. This still happens if you consume artificial sweeteners. Now, I will say I'm not sure if it's the exact same amount that would be something i'd have to look at like some deeper studies but i know your body because it tastes sweet your body knows that it, it it's something sweet has got, in, entered your body so it's going to respond in kind by spiking insulin levels what this does if you're trying to lose weight is it puts you in a storage mode a fat storage mode. That's what insulin basically does. And so if you're trying to lose weight and you're consuming diet sodas thinking that you're just not getting calories, you're still impacting your hormones. You're still causing the cascade of events that's going to lead your body to be in a storage mode, which makes it very hard to lose fat. Now, if you couple this with other meals, like you're still, you know, if you're still eating 
fast food or your yeah like you know like a lot of people will go get the fast food and then you know well instead of getting a 30 ounce coke i'll get a 30 ounce diet pepsi or something right your body's still going to store the other calories it's still going to store the other nutrients from the fast food you consumed so the long story short is when it comes to fitness and losing weight a huge part of it is how your hormones are reacting if you have excessive insulin levels like diabetics do that type 2 diabetics you should avoid these artificial sweeteners as well um, if you're trying to lose weight these diet sodas and the associated chemicals that are also in there which i won't go into this video because i don't drink diets i don't drink soda i haven't honestly looked on the back of a soda can in a long time um, but there's different you know artificial flavorings artificial sweeteners dyes you know food dyes yellow five red four whatever none of these things are good for your body none of these things are able to be metabolized by your body so your body's basically going, what the hell is this? This is part of the Franken food um, system that we have. So now if you imagine you've got artificial sweeteners in the product you're eating, and it also has artificial flavorings, your body is totally just being tricked. It's like the uh, example I gave in the video about at the beginning of the artificial flavorings where I was talking about when I was when I was younger and didn't know any better and I just kind of wondered why the Yoplait yogurt you know it said it had like zero percent fruit in it but it tasted like strawberries and that kind of tipped me off to something I was like how did you know how does this work how how could it have zero strawberries in it and taste just like strawberries and that was what you know that was before I read fast food nation and before I was really into nutrition in general, but it started to make sense if you look into the artificial flavor industry. So what we have is this food supply that is just, I'll end the video with this, just, I don't wanna lecture people. People know that the food supply is garbage. But it's more important than ever to avoid these, these foods that like even have to have artificial sweeteners. Even a little bit of sugar I would rather have not like a ton, but maybe like if you got five to 10 grams of sugar in you know, maybe like a, an actual fruit juice, like a concentrate, um, I would consider that better than drinking a bunch of completely nutrient devoid diet Pepsis that have artificial sweeteners. Sugar is not necessarily the enemy it's just the completely excessive amount of sugar that we consume. Like I've said in other videos before, the average intake for processed sugar for people about 100 years ago was about 5 grams. Now it's like 100 or something like that. And I think a lot of times, a lot more. So we're consuming 20 times more sugar. Our bodies can't handle this. This is one of the reasons why we have the problems that we do but it's just better to go natural. Now, I'm a big supplement guy, my company, but one of the things I like, uh, this is a shameless plug, is that when I look on the back of my products, if there's a flavoring or like even the coloring, like um, we have a pomegranate uh, lift off, it's called, it's like an energy, you know, it's like, it's like a healthier energy drink alternative. It's just a little powder you put in water, but it, even the coloring is pomegranate powder. Like that's where it gets the coloring. So even that can be healthy in its way. You're getting like a pomegranate extract for the coloring or beet, beet extract. Oh, these are a lot of very stainy. Um, so they'll use those in a lot of products because they, they, they stain, they hold the, the color very well. So like having like pomegranate extract that's good for your digestive tract on top of that, even if it's a small amount, that's kind of negligible that's going to beat having like orange 10 or blue 12 or whatever the artificial coloring is any day of the week so you swap out a healthy alternative 
for a good one and you still get a good taste and a good product. So this again comes back to food labels. And so, but that's what you need to know about artificial sweeteners is basically to sum it up, your body still reacts like it's getting sugar. It's just not getting the calories so in a way it is better than drinking normal soda i will say that but the better thing is to cut all of that out eventually i haven't had a soda in so long i i just don't even like ever crave it i, I literally i'd rather have uh, fruit juice concentrate i buy like concentrated cranberry juice that's like extremely tart has a lot of sugar in it but also a lot of nutrition and I mix that with water, you dilute it. And I, I mean, I, I just, my, my taste buds don't, don't require soda anymore. I used to drink a lot when I was a kid. Don't get me wrong. One reason why I, why I was probably sick a lot. Anyway, guys, that's how artificial sweeteners work. Don't think you're just getting away with a free little hack, right? Ditch the soda. Just Drink some water and like you'll notice that your hormones will be better. Your sleep will be better. You will lose more weight because your body won't be in this constant storage mode because your body won't be getting tricked into thinking that you're eating sugar. I hope this helps. Again, like, subscribe if you like the channel. I'll see you guys in the next video.